What is up guys, JPR Tech here and today do I have a review for you guys and actually a comparison video. Uh, as you can see here on my desk, I do have four stylus. Well, technically I have three, but because the standard of the Apple Pencil is completely broken, it just broke inside my camera bag, which I threw away immediately and replaced it with the new camera bag I'm using, which is awesome. Subscribe to get a future video of that mystery bag, which you've probably seen in my videos here and there. Love that bag. But anyways, going back to the comparison and the review we have today, as we all know, Apple products are high quality. When it comes to genuine Apple products, you know you're gonna get good quality and just performance, how it's supposed to be nat natively working with the iPad. So of course you're gonna have all the little shortcuts and whatnot with the tapping on the pencil tip, um, you know, with the magnetic connection and the charging through the magnets, bunch of other different swipes and gestures that you could do on your iPad that really is just puts the Apple Pencil in another level. And that's why we can't really compare apples to apples here, but a lot of these third-party companies are coming up with better products. And actually, and that's what I wanted to show you guys, is a quick comparison of these three products that I have, and I wanna review the last one that I recently purchased. To be honest, there's not a huge difference between the three stylus when it comes to the rhyme writing performance. It all comes down to their design features and just different aspects about their designs and button layouts that just makes them stand apart from each other. And that's what we're gonna compare, which one actually comes closer to the Apple overall experience. All right guys, so here we are in the Notes app because I found that even though Freeform does have, uh, is the best native app for iPadOS that uh, is just specialized for this, just using it as a whiteboard, Notes app still has better options when it comes to uh, writing styles, such as the different pencils and markers that they have, the different pens. It's just a better option. So I'm just gonna stick with the good old Notes app. So let's go ahead and get our crayon here, or pencil, and I'll show you a quick line on, so you can see the differences between these um, stylus here. But as you can see, the tilt function does work. So you have to tilt the pencil to get um, the different thickness on your pencil. And it works the same with all our pens or styluses. This one is a little bit more precise, so you really have to get down to get that tilt effect going on, but it does work. All right, guys, and this pencil is actually the most authentic looking one I have tested to date cool thing is about the tips is that they are cross compatible or interchangeable with the Apple Pencil itself. So the Apple Pencil can use these tips or the this pencil can actually use the Apple Pencil tips. And I gotta say, I love the coating on this one. It feels like it was built on this de texture that it wasn't painted on. Like the first generation stylus, as you can see, it's just paint is just falling off. And this is like a really cheap rubberized paint, so it is prone to fall off. Now the second gen stylus did fix that problem with having better coatings, but in time the coating is gonna wear down. But you know what? It still looks pretty good for the time I've been using it. Another thing that this that I love about this newer generation stylus is the minimalistic look. There are no ports whatsoever, if you notice. There's nowhere to charge this thing in. How are we gonna charge it? Well, that's the thing. It's gonna charge just like the Apple Pencil. You plug it in there. Now the animation doesn't pop up, but it will show that it is charging on the actual iPad. So if we look up top here, you can see the YKS2 is at 100%, it's already charged. And when you do plug in the stylus to the tablet, it will turn it on and pair automatically. And once the stylus is on, you will see that there is a indicator light on the top that is glowing kind of green. And, and I like it that it's not a, an intrusive light like the first generation had that is really, really bright. 
but this one is very gentle and nice it's not distracting whatsoever and that glowing circle also works as a power button so holding it down for three seconds will power up the stylus or one tap click actually initiates expose on the tablet so it's pretty neat you can multitask while holding the pen uh, unfortunately there is no eraser feature so whatever you're writing you're gonna have to just hit the eraser to erase things but the cool thing is look how responsive this thing is look at it it's like there's no lag whatsoever the tilt function works really nice and it's the best out of the bunch this the tilt function on this stylus is the fastest and smoothest experience out of the other two so overall this stylus is actually the closest we can get to Apple Pencil without one important feature, and that is pressure sensitivity. Yeah, this pencil doesn't have, well, none of them do have pressure sensitivity. Uh, you really have to step up to a really expensive stylus, maybe $80, $90, even over $100 stylus just to get pressure sensitivity but as that's just not available at a $30 price and yes you heard right this is just a $30 or $20 stylus you can find them in Amazon and yeah it works like the other styluses but again the design just makes it stand out more you know with the great build quality the material used externally the power button option it's a great feature and of course charging well magnetized the last time i reviewed this stylus i i did praise about this the power button here to activate it but the problem with this design is that when i turn it off and i put the pencil to rest on the tablet which actually the magnet works just fine but the problem is that sometimes when i put it in to charge it would actually turn it on accidentally it's not doing it now but oh there it is see sometimes it will turn it on and i'm not aware of it and that would actually drain the battery on the stylus and i think that's why i feel like this stylus has shorter battery life than the three of these that i'm comparing but with this new design you're no longer uh, turning on and off the stylus accidentally but better yet even though you do drain the battery accidentally, it's so easy to charge by just mounting it to the tablet. Whereas the other styluses, that is not possible. You're gonna need an external USB power source to charge both of these. So that's kudos to the newer stylus. Form so amazing. You know, I love all the features it have. The only feature is lacking is pressure sensitivity. That's it. If it wasn't for that, it would have been the perfect Apple Pencil replacement. But because it doesn't have it, um, yeah, it's just going to be a third option. The other alternative you have is to find another $80 active stylus that does support pressure sensitivity. But again, you're spending almost the same amount of money you would as if you were to pay with a used Apple Pencil. And you know, going with a used Apple Pencil, that is probably the route I will go to if you really need pressure sensitivity. It's just the most compatible experience you could get with an activation pen, an active stylus pen, and your iPad. Just get the genuine one. But if pressure sensitivity is not important for you, this is a great second option. I can actually recommend it because now we got charging through the iPad, through the magnetic connection. It has great battery life. The button design and placement and activation method is fantastic. You don't accidentally turn it on or off. You have a quick shortcut button to get expose. It's just a great stylus. For $30, you can't go wrong. So guys, if you like this review comparison and you're interested in uh, taking a look at this stylus, uh, check out the affiliate link in the description down below. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a good one. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.